Hi, my name is Joseph Lapp, and today I'm showing off a student project that we worked on in Game Design 2 at Full Sail University. I worked alongside Tita Thompson and Francis Young on this project, so let me just open it up. Um, we use Unity. Uh, our studio name is Timeout Studios, and um, this is Hazard Fall. Uh, Hazard Fall is like a single screen tank shooter game uh, where your goal is to get a high score and uh, not fall off and, and lose basically. Uh, as you can see here we have a few options. Uh, you can actually go into the credits. Um, this basically tells you all the sources and the three of us that worked on it. Very short and basic. Uh, quit brings you out to the desktop. Uh, there's a few little options in here that do have an effect. Um, and so let's just hit play. Uh, when I hit play you see we have easy, normal, and hard. Uh, the three, the big differences between them are uh, the amount of objects that fall and the speed of the objects uh, as they fall. Um, there's also some little variation in how the levels actually look. Um, so let's just jump into uh, normal first, and I can show you kind of how it actually plays. Uh, as you can see here, before the game even starts, we give the players a little, like, little tutorial. Uh, move left, move right, shoot, jump. Uh, so I'm just going to jump into it by hitting space, and yeah, as you can see, we jump immediately <laughs> when the game starts. Uh, so right now you're seeing two different falling objects, uh, these green orbs, uh, which you're going to see actually make the floor disappear. Um, and that is a loose state if you were to fall. As you can see, we have a little jump mechanic. Uh, initially, we didn't have the jump. We were going to trap you on whatever side you kind of fell on, but we thought that was a little too punishing for this like arcade style game. Uh, the second falling object is a coin. Now if you see, I collect the coin, my score goes up uh, higher than just shooting the objects. So coins are actually something that, when going for a higher score, you want to get. So what exactly I worked on? Uh, I worked on the level layout initially, um, which it is unfortunate that it is not sized properly. In the Unity editor, we had it sized perfectly fine, and for some reason when we made builds, um, it would get a little messed up. Uh, that also involved making these blocks at the bottom uh, breakable uh, for uh, for the falling objects and um, making sure that all of them were similar in tone and um, tone and style. Oop, there we go, almost died there. Uh, as you can see, the score keeps going up by one, and I believe when the coins get collected, it goes up by five, maybe. Um, and so uh, that's kind of what I worked on. I also did a little bit of the shooting to make sure that the bullet spawned kind of where the, where the barrel is. We had to extend it so you had a better feel of where you were actually firing. Oh, and just like that, I lost, uh, which is good. So you can either restart or go back to main menu. For this little video, I'm actually going to go back to the main menu, and then I'll just show you like what a difference is on uh, hard. Um, as you can see, we kind of have a night setting. Uh, some of the assets did not carry over properly in the build I'm currently running on, along with the tank, which is whatever. Um, but as you can see, the objects fall uh, way faster. Um, and that's kind of like, that's that's kind of the main difference. So I'm going to jump off here, go back to the main menu. I'm going to hit play. I'll show off a little bit easy mode. Um... This is where you can see the objects fall a lot slower, giving you a ton of more time to actually fire, uh, fire things. Now, actually, it's kind of good that um, this build doesn't have the differences in the tanks, uh, because you can actually see that it is slightly more difficult to actually kind of predict where to fire with the tank without the extended barrel on. Um, but as you can see, it's a lot easier um, as the as the level designer for this it is a little uh, a little hiccup backstory and this is I meant for nighttime to be the easy mode and daytime to be the normal mode and then do this hybrid quick look for the hard mode to combine the two and while making while editing them I just kind of uh, let them go I, I miss misread the uh, misread the things in the uh, hierarchy of which was which, and then that's what ended up with easy being the mix and then normal and hard being the individual. So uh, we all make mistakes, and luckily it wasn't uh, game-breaking. It just looks kind of dumb, and I'm not uh, crazy about it. But <laughs> um, 
but yeah, this is uh, Hazard Fall. Like I said, we made it in Game Design 2 uh, at Full Sail University, and I worked alongside Francis Young and Tita Thompson. Uh, Francis did a lot of the UI and main menu stuff. Uh, he also helped with the movement, which we all kind of did worked a part of. Um, Tita Thompson did a lot of the falling objects and uh, getting those to work properly, along with counting up the score and uh, destroying... Um, making sure that they were interactable with my blocks that I made interactable at the uh, bottom. Alright, so that's Hazardful, and uh, thank you for watching.